Hey guys, does de-dollarization mean gold is right around the corner with Bitcoin right behind? Last week, I talked about China-led BRICS efforts to dethrone King Dollar, saying the key to a new currency is hardness. Does it store value or is it inflationary? Will it hold the college fund? After all, inflationary currencies can replace the dollar for specific niches, Saudi oil or Chinese exports to Africa, and enough of those niches could theoretically weaken the dollar to the point it slips under that critical, not as bad as the euro line when you get accelerating exit. But that's a long road, a war of attrition with many setbacks given the dollar's network effects. And China is not patient, Russia certainly is not. Plus, even after that arduous journey, you're still light years from China and its BRICS minions actually taking over the money. For that, the new contender actually has to be better at inflation, not just a little better, it has to be game-changingly better. Now, given BRICS history with inflation, this won't happen with conventional central banking. It will take years for the market to believe the Brazilian or Russian central banks are responsible custodians of their life savings. Remember, Brazil and Russia both have histories of bath salt hyperinflation rampages. For Russia, it's relatively tame, sell the TV episodes. For Brazil, it's more eat a face and dance naked on police cars. Which brings us to that game changer, the kill move. Commodity backing, a gold-backed currency. It's fast, silent, and it's guaranteed to work so long as you can actually prove it. Prove that you've got the gold and it's available for pickup anytime, no questions asked, service with a smile. Backed by gold, even a Brazil-adjacent BRICS can swat away the dollar like a fly and do it in record time since it's got the market all to itself. Perhaps a few months to prove it, during which people would withdraw a lot, so you do need a stock. Then, after perhaps a year, people actually believe you at which point commences the most epic currency exit in modern history. China and Russia will have ridden the wave of the inevitable, weaponized the unsustainable fraud of fiat money to completely crush American hegemony. Not just hegemony, it would crush the American people. I've talked about the hyperinflation repercussions of a dollar collapse for the American economy. America would be out of the game, like it or not. The question then becomes, do China and Russia know this? Do they know they can literally end the American empire at the push of a button, execution with a one-year countdown? Given both Russia and China have already flirted with gold backing, it seems that yes, they do know this. And note that China has a dual currency system, where the external yuan and the internal yuan are almost two different currencies. This makes a gold-backed external yuan almost a no-brainer. The external is the mistress that crushes your enemies, while the domestic yuan is back home obediently cooking dinner. This suggests quite a few things. It suggests the American empire is a lot more fragile than it seems. It suggests gold is a lot closer than it seems. And it suggests hyper-Bitcoinization is inevitable as the world shifts first to the yellow metal, then keeps learning about Bitcoin. This is all very joyous for the 96% of humans who are not dollar-captive Americans betrayed by our reckless and mendacious elites. In fact, it's joyous for Americans too once we're through this little trauma. It's a brighter world, but it's a hard road from here to there. All right, we'll be watching. See you next time.